Somebody actually asked me a question last night. So um, I had a question about Fallout scripting. Uh, this is the AR Village script, which I have open on the left. Now, um, there is something about this script. If you went looking for it in the updated source codes or any of the source codes for Fallout 2 that, are, that come with the mapper, uh, it doesn't actually exist, unfortunately. Arroyo has one file in here. Um, Arroyo has a bunch of files in here, but no AR Village, which would be right here in the RP 2.33, in the RP source, oh, there's just the headers. Okay, so there's nothing, so there's no actual copy of it anywhere, unfortunately. So what you have to do is actually open the uh, the DAT file itself, uh, rip out the scripts, and then go ahead and grab AR Village here, and then drop it onto the FSPAL script editor, which has a decompile function. And then when it's here, if you want to save the decompiled script, you can just save it here. Um, I just hit cancel because usually I'm just looking at it. I don't ever want to save it. I, I mean, I don't have a reason to. If you have a reason to, go for it. But otherwise, so we're just going to look at this, which is what uh, this gentleman here is looking at and asking questions about. So the AR Village script, which is for the Temple of Trials, am I correct in assuming that the underlying line, which uh, if I pull this up here, we can see it's actually line 212, or I can see it, I don't know if you can, but anyway, line 212, which is this one right here. The underlying line is the part of the script that gives you 300 XP for completing the Temple of Trials. Uh, for completing the Temple of Trials, possibly, it definitely gives you 300 XP, but um, let's see, and the two above that say 300 plus 300 are the ones that give you XP if you have either diplomated or diplo, diplomat your way through, uh, i.e. talked your way through, or stole the key from Cameron. Um, it depends on what GVAR 10 is. Global VAR 10 here is. So... In order to find out what a global variable is, uh, you got to open the Vault 13, so the Vault 13.game file over here in Fallout 2 slash data slash data is where all the global variables are stored and they are actually named. Uh, when you, when a script is decompiled, it will only give you the number, uh, the names attached to a number. It's, um, if you're familiar with programming, it's an enum, otherwise, don't worry about it. <laughs> The one GVAR we're looking for here is GVAR 10, global variable number 10. So over here, we're looking for number 10 in the vault13.game file. And this is number 10 right here. Start Arroyo trial. So global variable 10 equivalent to two. Um, okay, now when you have a global variable or a, an LVAR local variable, these are two special types of variables and also a map variable. All of the map variables are not quite the same, um, but the, the specifically the GVARs and the LVARs are very are special in that the engine itself allocates memory for them and they are stored separately from the script in the save file itself. So there's there's reasons to use them one or the other. This is not a proper LVAR though. This one is actually declared at the top, so uh, I'm not going to explain that explicitly right now. But basically, when you go to access the global variable, you're given a certain number and you have to they're numbered or zero through however many you ask for. And this is number ten. So number 10 has a name. You can use the name instead because it's actually in the define. GVAR started a trial, but the decompiled version doesn't. So we got to work with what we got here. And the GVARs are numbered on the vault13.game file. Number 10 is GVAR start a royal trial. Or that's what the name of the variable is. But it can also be used to track if it's finished or not. And as we can see here, set global variable number 10 here, 2, 3. That's how this is supposed to be read. You can actually kind of see a description of it right there. So that's the value of a global variable var, var index. So int var index is the first one. And the to a given value, int value is the second one. And then lvar here is a local variable, not an lvar local variable, just to be clear. In case anybody gets confused by that. Anyway, so if uh, gvar10 equivalent to zero, set it to three. So there are at least three different settings we can have for this global variable. The start trial variable, which means it isn't an on-off variable. It is there are three possibilities for it. You know, you succeed, fail, and haven't done it, something like that. I'm not sure. Three, three is very likely succeed because this is a decompiled script. There's no explanation for what these numbers are. Just to be clear, the air of village is actually the script attached to attached to this file which is the village, the actual village itself. And that script and that global variable are actually called when you exit the, the cave here, i.e. when you have finished the Temple of Trials. This is supposed to be Cameron Ratmund or, or whatever 
name for the character Cameron or Dumar, depending on which version of the game you have installed. It's probably going to be Cameron. <laughs> but this character is the character you're supposed to have fought inside if you didn't kill him. But anyway, so that script gets run when you enter this map. So it only gets run when you enter this map. So, so if you just set yourself to spawn in that map, this script will run. Start Arroyo Trial global variable will be set to 3. Elvar 0 will be set to 300 plus 300, so 600. I don't know why they didn't just write it that way. You'll be given XP points from Elvar 0, which is going to be 600. And a display message, message string. Uh, okay, so display message, message string. Message string here actually references a number, the number that's attached to the scripts.lst file. So if you open the scripts.lst file in the Fallout 2 data folder, Fallout 2 slash data slash scripts and scr scripts.lst here. That's what I've got open on the left here. And we are looking for a message string number 14. So we're looking for message string number 14 here. And MSDR 14 is actually line 14. This is the only really frustrating thing. Line one, line 14. So it's actually, this is one of the more frustrating things about this engine when you're trying to mod, especially. Uh, the, the scripts are referenced by line number, as you can see from the deep compiled source here. The number 14 is the line number in scripts.lsd, which is super annoying, difficult to work with, but you gotta work with it anyway. Generic.int is what it actually points to. So that also means that it's actually generic.msg, the message file for it. Now I have that open on right here, generic.message. You can find it yourself in text which you might have to extract yourself but text uh, slash english slash dialogue and then over here generic blah blah if i can actually find it nope 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 oh, i'm sorry you would have to extract it yourself um so i have this you'd have to extract it yourself so i have an extracted set or is it at follow to dat files right here master text english dialogue generic here's generic dot message um, I've got this open right here. Script number 14, which we saw was generic.message, and line number 100, plus LVAR0, which is 600 here, and then plus another message string from script number 14, line 101. And those are, and now it's those aren't line numbers anymore, so this is a little bit better. These are actual numbers that are identified here. 100 is this line here, 101 is this line here. So 100 is you gain, and then 101 is experience points. So when you go to read this, it reads, you gain 600, which is 300 plus 300, and then experience points. This is, again, this is actually for exiting the vault, but you get this either way when you exit the vault, if your GVAR 10 is equivalent to zero. I don't exactly know what this switch does though. Um, else if it is two, you get 600 points, and it's just, it's just the same thing, 100, 101, LVAR zero zero and two so if it's one which i don't know how you would get one pro possibly for beating up cameron but i don't know for sure what these are set to and why we would have to look at that script explicitly but either way if it's zero you get 600 if it's two you get 600 uh, and i don't know which script actually it sets it but we i would guess it would be the fight with cameron and it, and, and if it's pro probably if it's one or if it's anything else it gets set to three uh, you get you get 300 points 300 xp points but otherwise, the line is the same. It's message string 14, uh, line number 100, and message string 14, line number 101. Anyway, uh, so we can take one look at, I would guess, I would guess, let me take a look over here on the mapper. Okay. A item door, A item door, A, A, okay. A item door, rather. Uh, A item door, A, C, T. EMVIL. I bet that's the one I need to look at. So we're going to take a look at ACT EMVIL. Let's see if we can find it in the source codes here. Uh, not here. How about the CLAP ones? ACT EMVIL. There we go. We get an idea what's going on here. These are proper source codes, or at least all the defines are included in them, so you can see what's going on with it. And we are looking specifically for an MVAR. I mean, not an MVAR. We're looking specifically for a GVAR, so. Uh, let's see if we can find a global var a royal start trial okay here we go and then trial fight so let's go ahead and take a look at where trial fight is declared 
And here's global.h over here on the right, which is located in the decompiled source codes outside of Arroyo. Here's Arroyo, go back up one headers right down here and then look for global. And here's global.h. So I just have this opened up here and um, we can take a look at this alongside this. So here we go. And here we go. So here's our, here are the defines for what these specific settings are for GVAR start Arroyo trial. Trial none means obviously you haven't actually done the trial. So if it's zero, you, you just win. <laughs> you just get the XP according to this here. If it's trial fight, i.e. that's one. So that would be the remaining one here. So zero and two are accounted for, but not one. Then you get 300 XP. And if it's trial talk, I assume that means it's set when you do the dialogue option. So that's two, you get that 600 XP. And when it's trial sneak, trial sneak is set only here. But we can do a search here and see what the other settings are. Trial fight, trial fight, trial talk, trial talk there, and that's it. Okay, so yeah, it's never set to sneak over here. It's only set to sneak over here. So uh, yes, that is correct. Zero right here is if you didn't actually do anything with the guy at all and you managed to sneak past him. That's why it's set to trial sneak for this variable. And two, is if you talked your way through it, it's set in the dialogue. So that's that one. And all the rest, the only one left is fight. So if you fight your way through it, you get whatever XP for the fight, because I assume there's a certain, uh, we could take a look, there's a small amount for that, and then 300 XP for this. So let's take a look at the fight real quick. Combat P prot. this is it, right? Oh, here we go. Uh, get critter stats, self object current HP, less than or equal to get, get critter stat, max hit points over two. So over two, okay. So his hit points are 40. Um, edit, I uh, can't do it from here. P, edit, advanced. Uh, he has, yeah, he has 40 HP. Oh, he starts out with 30. Interesting. Um, he has 40 HP. So once you get him to 20 HP, you only have to knock 10. Do you have, really? You only have to knock 10 HP off of him? I'm very curious about that. I'm very curious about that. Anyway, anyway, he starts out with 40 HP. If he gets down to less than or equal to half his hit points, so 20 hit points or lower, and the trial start is set to one, which means that he is in a fight. So if he's fighting, he gets his HP cut in half, terminate combat, script overrides, create a healing powder, he heals himself there, and then set a local var defeated, and then a start trial to two, so gets set to two, which is trial talk for some reason. And then you got a floater and fight finished. And then it gets set back to trial fight again. I'm not sure why this, oh, I'm sorry. That's not, that's not even the same thing. That's not the same thing. Anyway, he gets set, the Elvar defeated gets set to one, Elvar start trial gets set to two. I don't know why this is set up like this, but that's an, an Elvar local bar, which is different. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. And then map var, pass fighting is set to fighting finished. And here's the global var that's important. G var start a royal trial, set to trial fight, um, which is number one right here. So yeah, one, which is not zero or two, you only get 300 XP. Now I didn't see, what I, what I was hoping for was to see an XP value come out of this, but I don't see one. So it seems like you get less XP if you fight instead of if you uh, talk your way or sneak your way through it, which is interesting. Like half the XP. Get into this fight and see what kind of XP you get for it. All right, so my XP is 1295. Let's get into an official fight. Ignore the steel skill. Um, sure, that's party. I'm ready. Done. And because crits are enabled, we will just knock him out. <laughs> uh, we'll take the key, I guess. Um, so really, when, I guess we'll just we'll just wait for him to wake up. <laughs> I think I think he's uh, I think he's down at this point. He might not be. He might not be. Oh no. Okay. So I guess he starts with forty. Interesting. But uh, he's got one more hit, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, and that should take care of it. There you go. And he runs away. Yay! And then, of course, you can just go ahead and 
get out and let's see what kind of XP we got for that. We just got the 300 to 1595, so I only got 300 points. So you get less, you get fewer skill points officially by fighting than you do by, yeah, actually sneaking past or talking your way past. So those are, that is, that's how this, that's how to read this script. So hopefully that helps understand what exactly is going on with these with with this decompiled code here it is kind of confusing absolutely but once you get used to looking at it in fact once you get used to just reading a regular script it's a lot easier to understand what's going on over here anyway that's it i'm gonna go ahead and cut that into a video and uh, drop it for that one gentleman who asked the question hopefully that helps you understand what's going on here